my Gavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I am Eric Gala Durathan, the head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer as we continue on as the remnants of Angmar. Now, even since changing my introduction um, to that, mine has changed to say that I'm the head of the modding team behind rather than the head of DAC. Uh, many people seem to have suddenly realised that I'm the mod, I'm mod DAC, and I'm the, the head of the team that mods DAC. Whereas so as before, when I used to say I'm the head of uh, Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Divide and Conquer, people must have just assumed that I was so self-righteous that I just said that I'm the best DAC YouTuber out there. I can't only speculate. But welcome to episode number 10 and the Christmas, well, the build-up to Christmas, the week before as we are indeed enduring at the current time, as we're going through. And as somebody suggested, in light of the fact that this is the 10th episode, and in light of the fact that it is uh, Christmas just around the corner, this episode and the three of its brothers this week will all be an hour long. But first of all, let me just say two things. Number one, there was no stainless steel video at the weekend. There won't be one next weekend, but there will be one back again in January. I'm going to take a brief uh, pause to do the first few of those redone faction overviews. And then once I get into the swing of it again, I'll bring stainless steel back. So it's not, I've not stopped it. It'll, there'll just be a brief pause while the faction overviews get into swing because I haven't got enough time at the moment to do both. Uh, but I will have once we get back into uh, the swing of things after Christmas and, and then beyond into January. So um, rest assured it's not ended. Uh, it's just slightly on hiatus. So I suppose we will probably be going to six videos a week again, where, but one of them will be a faction overview. So do stay tuned for that. Secondly, um, as I said, there'd be no videos next week, but there, I realise that actually there will be. I'm only actually not available to record videos on Christmas Day itself and Boxing Day. Um, but after that, I'm then actually remarkably free. Indeed, on Christmas Eve, I'm not actually doing anything. The entire day is free. So um, I, I plan to do stuff. No sleeping here! Uh, sorry, there was no music playing for a moment, but I, sometimes it does just pause. Oh, there it is, Speak of the Devil. Get ready for uh, so there will be videos over uh, over and throughout because I can I can do them so <laughs> there's no need to pause them uh, I just do I just need to uh, re-record pre-record a couple or I probably make the two days off of this coming week toward the end of the week and the two days off of the next week will be at the beginning of the week as well so um, Christmas Day will actually have a video because I've already recorded it I must confess and um, but I don't think Boxing Day will. But we'll see how it goes when we get there. But either way, the four campaigns will... There'll be four this week coming. Um, and there'll be four next week as well. They just might be on different days. So there we are. That's all the um, setting the scene. Let's crack on. We're not doing all that well. The elves are <laughs> have taken back so much. <laughs> so much. We are really, really getting hounded by them. Now, somebody did say, and lots of people who have already won the campaign always come to you and they say, this is what I did to win the campaign. You should do this, 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 and this, and this. And whilst I appreciate the hints and tips, and sometimes I do take things on board, I do like to play this entirely my own way. And if I fail, I fail. If I succeed, I succeed. Because it's then it, it's 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 more personal to you then isn't it if i literally just ask someone exactly what they did to win it and then follow exactly what they did i just don't think i'd enjoy it very much Ready. so i have tried to steer clear of that no are we at the point here. where we're attacking that yes, we are. yes here we go little Doran and scythian scythian and lethal Doran. both of you are about to perish i hope now we've got some good generals we can do it and what have you got? Not too much. If your cavalry gets involved, I suppose you might be a bit of a threat. But we can take it. We can take it. Uh, changes to 1.2 behind the scenes are, as the Gondor video, the overview video of Gondor kind of alluded to, uh, we've got new forts. So there's a unique Elven, Orcish, Dwarven, Southron, and Gondorian fort to go along with the already existing Wildmen Fort and, of course, the five variations of a Northern European Fort. So we've got plenty of forts. Oh, look at that drop. So there's some new forts coming. They've got new campaign strategy models and they've got new battle... Well, no, they've got battle map models that are already in the game, but I've repurposed them to be for forts. Right, well, welcome to Thorin's Halls. It's an absolute bloody nightmare of a map. 
Oh, and all of the things are off because I was doing for the faction AVP video actually. There we are. Alrighty, who's going to go down with the? I think this is a battle really just for our generals because their ally, their reinforcements are going to come from over here, which means they can just. We're going to be fighting them all in the town itself, in the city itself. Although I didn't realise there was a gate there. That's pretty cool, actually. So even if they do come from the back, you've got all of this to rain javelin fire and arrows down on them. And then they've got to get through the gate anyway, which is cool. But we are going to be up against it. And we're just going to be fighting in that corridor. I like this settlement because I like I like the dwarven, the like over-the-top sort of look he's given a lot of the dwarven settlements. But I prefer the ones that once you get inside, they're actually very simple. Because I think that's good. I like that a lot. Right, who else should we take with us? The units that are practically dead definitely can come with us. Because, I mean, they're just useless really, aren't they? We just use them as banter fodder. Definitely take any archers that we've got. Don't run away. Don't fire at will just yet. It'll be wasted. Um... We won't take the Snagger because they will just die. Well, no, they're probably the best ones to take because of that, actually, aren't they? They will soak the enemy up while our generals manoeuvre around to get the best kills. So, two units of fellas. He said, this is such a mediocre army. Now, I've noticed that some people have said they have trouble walking across certain bridges and manoeuvring across certain locations. And what I would say to those people is that sometimes if you are... I know it sounds totally weird, but sometimes if your camera is on this side of an object, it physically won't allow you to click onto the other side of the object. An example of this is the Bridge of Khazad-dûm. At the Bridge of Khazad-dûm, if you are on the gate side of the bridge, you can't tell your units to arrange on the other side of the bridge. You've got to go across the bridge physically, go through the first archway, then spin your camera around, and then you can tell them to move. So, if you're having troubles anywhere, always just try and reposition your camera and see if it has any effect, because the likelihood is that it will. The likelihood, in fact, is that it will resolve your problems entirely. I know it's very peculiar and it's very strange, and I, I can't understand why it does it, but it does. That's all, that's all there is to it, I'm afraid. It just does do it. I do wish that I could edit settlements because then many of these problems could be removed and taken away and we could get we could get genuine genuinely brand new unique forts for the, the campaign uh, the battle map but unfortunately not that's just not the case. Defenses fall. Oh, they decided not to cross the bridge. As soon as the gate goes down we're in. We're in. Come off time 6. Come and get involved. Well, in fact, you're all going in, aren't you? So everyone, come in. Don't run, though. It doesn't look like his reinforcements are actually getting involved. Oh, no, yeah, look, they're not actually crossing the line. That's interesting. And there's no reason not to. They're on a... They can walk down that. Oh, that's brilliant news. That means they're going to totally trap themselves out that side. It's going to be such an easy victory. All right. As they're walking in, let's line them up how we're going to want them. So the ones that, unfortunately, as I say, we just don't care about. You come forward. Archers, come and fill the gaps. You on that side. Overlord Agendau on that side. Um, and our general. Come through and stand behind. So we've got the snagger in reserve if we need them. I'd like you, ideally, to waste every arrow you've got before we bother getting involved. Just make sure that yeah, you're not rejoining us. Now, we'll kill hardly any with our arrows, because these are the bodyguards of Linden, and they are formidable. And they've got a shield, which always helps. And they're just good anyway. Oh! There were 43 when we started, weren't there? No, I don't think so. Although what we could do is stand an awful lot closer. Although we are already standing pretty damn close. Oh, 
you're done, aren't you? Run off to the snagger. Haven't killed a single one. How close can you get before they actually... Dear, oh dear. We're on the side that their shield's on though, actually. This is not good. And yeah, even knowing that, I'm still not doing anything about it. Well, they came at us, but then they stopped. We killed one. Our generals are good enough to win this, so there's no, there's no threat. But hopefully they'll take a few of these down. Look at that water. That looks. Uh, that's. Uh, from this side, it looks like there's nothing wrong, and from this side, there's a clear <laughs> block where it doesn't work properly. Whoops. Hardly any of them have died, but I genuinely would like this lot to die. They're just no use to us. These ones are miles from home and will never be retrained. And six of those, it's just not worth retraining. It's just worth re. It's just worth training a new unit. Because even if they've got experience, oh no! If, even if you have one unit left and he's got nine experience and you retrain, the new unit will have nine experience. That's how it works. But what we are going to do is use our bodyguard units to surround. But we'll wait and see if the pipe will take anyone. Oh, we might win that way. That's cheeky. Get the Angmar bodyguards involved then. See if we can just hold them in place. Ah, oh, they start to die now. The pikemen are doing unbelievably well. Phallus Lords just look so good, don't they? They do just look good. Always makes me want to play as Linden, but... Linden are just too easy. Much too easy. I do hope, uh, and from the comments that I've read so far, many people seem to have... But I do hope you'd enjoy the new overview video. Gondor was a bit of an interesting place to start because if barely anything like this, has changed since the last video for them. Like really, virtually nothing has changed. The campaign is very similar except the Canned get involved now and Harada are a bit stronger. But other than that, it's exactly the same as it was in 0.5. But I did decide that rather than doing like, oh, this faction's had some changes, so here's a 40 minute video detailing everything. And then this faction has one new unit, so here's like, a two minute long video showing you their unit. It just that I prefer uniformity, so I just decided I'd redo them all. Because yes, while it does take about 40 minutes, it's an entirely different type of video, so your energy to do it is up and, and, and there and raring to go. And I like doing videos about Divide and Conquer because obviously I've poured hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of my life into this thing. And as has become quite apparent by me just changing the intro, many people aren't aware that I actually am one of the modders that behind the very game you're all watching right now. Along with, of course, Hummingbird, who's a stalwart companion of mine, been around for a, almost a, pretty much 50-50 work ratio at the moment between the two of us. Orp Scrape has done some scripting, Calatharok has done some scripting, but Hummingbird and I have been the two longest serving. Well, really, to be honest, and to be, brunt and to be blunt and brutal to those who have joined in and aided us in places, Hummingbird and I basically are the modders, and then some people have helped out. Like, whilst what they've done can't be diminished in its, in its use and how important it's been for the mod, when compared to the work that Hummingbird and I have done over the years, it's still a tiny fraction. So, it's a shame, really, that there's only two standard continuous modders for DAC because if we had just one and two others with different skill sets we could achieve so much but there we are uh, but anyway so I wanted to do the DAC videos because I, I just enjoy doing videos about DAC and watching Big Fellow's videos with his top 10 bodyguard list and his top 10 cavalry list that just I like those kind of videos the, the non-gameplay DAC videos I, I do enjoy those so uh, we have 10 seconds left but there's only 17 of the buggers left our general's doing very well, but then I expected him to. He's not in the League of Phallus, um, what are they call Phallus Lords. He's not in the League of Phallus Lords at all. But with the support, with the arrows that they'd already taken, the attack from our units that we wanted to kill off, there was always a chance that they were going to do pretty poorly. And indeed. So when I said that the Rudal Pikemen were in, doing insanely well, what I meant was they'd done nothing except die. And the kills actually came from the Rudaur archers got one, and the savages, despite only having 
four people in their battalion. And losing all of them, they managed to kill them. That, I believe, is an image of the Battle of Gondolin, or the Siege of Gondolin, and the fall of the great city. But then I don't remember Gondolin being surrounded by volcanoes. So those ones have thrown me a little bit. We've retaken Thorin's Halls. Now, the, somebody did say that I should abandon Thorin's Halls. Um, I should abandon pretty much all of this side, return over here and continue pressing into Bree, taking this area and then dealing with the elves when I am stronger. Get ready for fighting. Which I can see there is merit to that suggestion. But I also feel that the elves have only got one real army left and then we can probably push for some of their more key settlements. And if we can cripple them as early as we were able to cripple the dwarves, then... I'm all for that. Also, Thorin's Halls gives 1,825 gold coins in as its income. That's unbelievably good. So I and I really want to use that. So now, what I am very tempted to do is kind of abandon this area in a, in, a, in, in to an extent, march this army round the south, and come at Mithlond from the west. Because if we could take Mithlond, oh my word! But I, I don't think we can. I mean. No We're in end turn for the moment anyway, so make sure we end turn. Oh, the buggers are sallying out. Now he's got his Dunedain scouts, which is annoying, and his Dunedain rangers. Now we could pull away, but I'd quite like to retreat after we've only after we've thrown all of our javelins at them. So that's what we're going to do. I don't think we've got enough here to actually beat these defenders. But with the two units that are also coming to join in, in time we'll have enough. But for now... The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must I just want to move these in events. and throw as many javelins at them as we can. Um, I'll keep you in case there's an opportunity to charge the archers, because I would like to try and kill off those archers because it'll make it easier in the future. Keep your wolves under control. I know they look a bit buggy, those wolves, but they, when you look at them kind of like from this height, they look far better than the last wargs did. If you can throw javelins, throw javelins. Who's already shooting us? Oh, those buggers. Taking a lot of losses. Killed like none of them. Taking loads of losses, in fact. An unacceptable amount of losses. How are you doing against those? Well, killing some. I think it's time. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Oh, we did kill half of them though, that's good. Oh, and look, they're chasing us. Come back and kill some more. There you go, that'll do. Now flee. Yeah, they will heal. They always heal. Only oh. half our force remains. Oh wow, Shadoon is on something of a cliff, isn't it? Shadoon. Great orc camp at the foot of Mount Graham. Why did you two stop? Oh, you weren't ones that I... Oh. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't realise that they'd stopped as well, the buggers, but I did always know that the wog skirmishes were... Well, no, not wog skirmishes, wogs. Wogs in general are so poor against arrow fire that the Dunedain are our natural enemy. <laughs> Bloody hated enemy. Why can't we... If we could just fight against Bree, we can easily cripple those buggers. Pull back! We must pull back! Yes, 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 yes. Pull back, pull back. 
Let's see what the elves do. The elves just don't have anyone else to focus on. That's why this is such a tricky area to fight in. I'm not bothered if there's rioting in Perth and it's a totally useless village. Kill them all! Destroy them! Orcs! Listen up! Orcs! Oh! No sleeping here! Oh, where'd the... Where did the rest of them go? Did they pull them out? It's fascinating. No sleeping here! Attack! Continue on we to try and cripple them. We're not entirely bothered if Amun Sul falls. In fact, we're not bothered at all, really. Now, what do we do in Fornost? With our army here. Army! <laughs> it's generous. That's not an army. As people quite rightly pointed out, I was mistaken last time, and the Dunedain can build their Dunedain encampment in villages. Uh, so. No sleeping here. I have nothing. Oh wow, they're coming out of siege equipment. Uh, it's way too long to go all the way around, isn't it? Uh, right, we'll leave behind the ones that we didn't care about killing and a unit of snagger. Come on! Object get ready for fighting! Listen up! No sleeping here! Come on! Orcs! They're probably gonna try and bribe it again though, aren't they, the buggers? Oh righty 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 roo. Oh well, we haven't got enough watchtowers. I just want some watchtowers, is it too much to ask? That's our money situation. Oh, doing all right. Orcs! You men, join in. Come on. We have completed Let's hope our deep plunge into Fenestruin and does some damage. That's all we can really hope. And what to do here? I mean, I could do with some scouting out, but sending out wargs to scout is not Listen advisable. <laughs> also, Fornos borders with Bree, who will now certainly be coming and knocking on the door from their capital of Bree. <laughs> I just need something to change. Now, Perth and Loon isn't particularly elven. In fact, it's elves is arguably the least culture it's got. So if it rebels against us, which I'm rather hoping it will, just like this region, uh, it should just go full-on rebel, giving the elves something to think about. I think we're another end turn. Oh, Hillman, you're way better than... Uh, well, I suppose that is a general rule. When you play as Angmar, the men of Ruadawa are always some of your better units. Why is Captain Burrs alone? Why is he not getting involved? Ah, that's the gentleman. They sent them out for some reason. I think we might this time have enough to do it. He says. <laughs> I have no, no hope in. Well, we fight on. The Witch King didn't conquer Eriador in a day. He conquered it with a plague. <laughs> And then he got killed, the bugger. Well, he obviously didn't die. He's the Witch King. But he did get run out. But then the elves and the men of Gondor had to help him, so... These foul peasants don't have enough to defend this land on their own, and we'll bloody well show that. Though. Right, you two, and you for being... Not you, you're the ones that stopped when I told you not to. I didn't tell you not to. It's probably my fault, but that doesn't stop me getting annoyed at you for being idiots. So, you're going to run down and hit their cavalry. You guys, I want to pester their infantry. And we probably will need to run away. But if we can do some cycle charging on the spearmen that they've got. You go for those scouts. Oh, uh, you know, it would help me immensely if you could um, actually hit them. Like that would that would really, really, really be good. Oh, they're slaughtering our wargs. Oh, and that's our captain as well, isn't it? So our captain versus their captain. Oh, but then I forget that the wargs in prolonged melee are actually a beast. Oh, they've just been killed off. Don't worry about the twelve.
I think we might win over there. Wargs are useless against arrows. They really are pathetic against arrow fire. They die so easily. But in prolonged melee, they're actually really quite aggressive. But they don't have any defense. They're like Harad's entire new roster and uh, what we created for Harad. Now, once you finish with your javelins, I want you to move out to the sides where you will then be... You're really giving the running away thing some meaning there, aren't you? You're going to help flank. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Only one of them's left, and that's their captain, so he won't have any arrows anyway. What the bloody hell are they doing? Why aren't they attacking? My oh, I totally forgot about them. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about their Dino Dine Rangers. Whoops. But it's alright, the archers are shooting the hillmen. Let's get a bit of reasonable charge in there. Get a hit on that side. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. They're doing alright, doing alright. We're so close to our heartlands that losses here don't really matter. They can be replenished Im pretty much immediately. But if you could win with a, with more... Oh yeah, you're doing very well. Just as aggressive as normal wargs. You also got the advantage of fighting downhill. Always gives you an advantage. Doondine Wardens have been split. Both enemy captains have fallen. Those rangers will break surely. They're massively outnumbered now. Get back involved. We're surrounded by them. We're surrounded by them. Oh, our men are wavering. Almost certain. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. Yes. From such tidings, does victory emerge? Don't let any of them get away. Well, apart from the ones I already have. <laughs> oh, you're going to do that standard wag thing, aren't you? Where you don't actually capture capture routing units. There we go. We got him. That should be everyone. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Most kills, 99 Warg skirmishes, no surprises there. Oh, so the Wargs are very, very good in the initial charge. And if the enemy they're up against isn't an anti-cav defensive unit. But they're pathetic if you allow them to get shot by arrows. I suppose that's probably quite a good... We've destroyed the enemy! That's quite a good representation of them. That is essentially what they're like. Oh, they took it before they rebelled. That's annoying. But then he's now in that... He's now in that town. And if those dwarves... Oh, yes, well done. Did you die before you could be up promoted, though? I think you might have done. Adoption not completed, yeah. We got Shadoon back. Don't waste money on buildings. Recruit stuff. Get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. And Detach is training those teams of him. Ah, oh, we're gonna have quite a nice little army here. Just don't have a general to lead it. Ah, oh, but that's good. That is good. 
And we now can... Oh, they're Bree landers. Oh, no, I'm happy with that. Yeah, let Bree take it. Bree having it's way better than the Northern Dunedain. Bree, in comparison to the Northern Dunedain, are a pathetic. Kill them all! It will be an honour defeating you. Oh, Gandalf the White. Get ready for fighting. Fascinating. And Arafors on the wrong side of the enemy. river. Fenestrian and gets a garrison though, so. Can't do anything too much, too serious. At the minute, I'm, ha I'm tempted to just hold there in Fornos. I don't think we need to play it aggressively or anything like that. We can just hold where we are. No now, here. did the dwarves go into the trees Come and are they going to ambush us? Yes, they are. Get ready for fighting. Attack! No sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. Move. No sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. No sleeping here. Kill. Listen up. No sleeping here. Listen up. Move. As no long as we keep them besieged, no sleeping here. They will it um works. Get ready for fighting. Oh, they can't flee. So we've trapped these guys in here. Now they'll rise up and attack us on the next turn, yes. But then we can just withdraw and he'll just scamper back and we'll gather up and then we'll hit them again on the turn after that. Unless, of course, they run away in that turn, but I highly doubt it. Although now I'm thinking about that, that probably wasn't a wise decision, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm surprised the dwarves didn't build mines in Fahamgathol. That's interesting. All right, it's all hotting up. Oh, I should have used this opportunity to train a diplomat, shouldn't I? Um, you can get one from there on the next turn. End the turn. Let's see what happens. So, Shadoon's back under control. More money there. Bree are going to get Amunsul, which is excellent news. Absolutely phenomenal news. Because Bree can't use Amunsul at all. It is as useless to them as it is to me. Namely, completely useless. Bree can't Bree cannot train a single unit from Amunsul. Oh, unless actually uh, no, their farm their militia come from the farm, but we're not worried about Bree land militia, let me tell you that. As uh, with Bree being my second favourite faction in the entire game, you may be interested to hear. Uh, I'm quite on point with uh, the capabilities of the Bree landers and uh so I'm not concerned about an army of Breland Militia. Oh, Dawinian aren't doing well. But the Northern yes, Dunedain not getting Aminsul is an absolute gift from the gods. Can we... Where's the best place to try and get some money or something? Uh, we can get a Warg Breeder and add Wargs to our capabilities from there. Get some Goblin Archers, Ballister, Leatherworker, Shrine, Slave Hall. Orders, my lord. I could do with another general, Objective really, to lead all this lot, but 16 turns till we can train another general. But we'll build up a secondary army up here. Uh, is there a gen second general in this? Oh, well, hello! The orcs of the Misty Mountains are here to support us. If I attack, will they join in? No. You get four units of defenders. No, we'll try and siege that longer. Oh, the Dunedain are coming up north. Bugger. Those units won't train this turn. Hmm. Perhaps then take those two away. So Gobadrian gets an extra unit. You get an extra unit. Then we can... Let's try a little two-pronged assault. I know you're only snagger, but try coming from Garth Heligoff, see what you can get done. They're coming back to bribe who's and are. There they are, the cheeky baggers. Ah, the elves didn't rise up. Well, that was really stupid, because now we totally outmast them. Come and get me, you coward. Kill them all! And we will attack, because those three are just going to be useless. And yes, they've got another unit of Phallus Lords, but... Generals. Killing generals is a key aspect of defeating Linden because they're their best unit. They're the only ones that are likely to lead the civilization on if we are to kill Kierdan. Oh, let's pray that we can kill Kierdan. 
how do you deal with siege equipment in a town? I'm not really too sure. Although we've got a ton of generals. I think we just answered our own question. No, I do normally... I do like the rule that Hummingbird ascribes to his own games, whereby he will not put more than two generals per army. But as Angmar, it's, it's, it's just nearly almost physically impossible not to put more than one general per army and hope to win. So I'm bloody well doing it. Right, lads. Just march in. I don't think we need more than that. That should be more than enough. Oh, do run, though. No, that's not run. That's run. Oh, it's because I've told the wrong ones to go to the wrong side. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Oh, that was a good shot. This is so risky. Stray catapult bolt, and we've just and we've lost our Rudauer general. There he is. Oh, to have your head taken off by a catapult. Shot. But then they are doing some good damage against the catapult unit. I'm not bothered if he takes losses as well. He'll replenish. All of these will replenish. If the catapults were targeting them, I'd be a bit more concerned. But because they're not, I'm not too worried. Ah, oh, now they are targeting them. No! Run away! The enemy are badly blown. Run away! They have lost half their men. Ah, oh, they turned them at the last bloody moment. Didn't they. You're not doing anything anymore either. Just get out. Generals have got this. There we are. Our men are in them. command of the city. Fire and is dead. I was very worried actually. Having four generals in there, the chance that one of the generals might himself die is very high. Very high. There's two Phallus Lords left. And the last one stands. He's taking someone out though, the jammy bug. And he's down. And it's our day. I mean, he lost 8%. That's an outrageous victory total. It's really, really, really good sign when a nation like Linden are resorting to training siege equipment to put into their armies. Hang my bodyguards, 98 kills. Because that means they're just running out of options. They must have trained the amount of units they can. Now remember that any unit that takes a long time to train, it will take just as long to train for the AI. The AI's bonuses come in the fact that they get faster population growth than you do. They get more money than you do. They can't go bankrupt. And they get free extra upkeep, I believe, in their cities. But they don't get faster unit recruitment. And they do not get um, additional unit recruitment that you don't get. So if the elves train once every 40 turns, then they'll train once every 40 turns for the AI and they will for you. So it's there's a level of playing field. Which is very good news for us. Because... <laughs> That means the reason that they're throwing siege equipment at us is because they've already run out of options. Oh, and holding against Bree was a wise idea because here they are. Be Captain gone. Cliff. Now, there's two armies. These I are the two key armies that I'm battle. concerned with in this fight. But I don't want to get trapped in a Come village, on. so... We have completed an objective. Pull out, try and lose the village to rebels. How orcish is this? Oh, 13%, not too bad. Try and build a shrine, see if you can. Okay, another end turn. Gulp. Ready. Hurry up. You can move down a bit. Get this some... way. Hurry up. 
Yeah, yeah Mithlund is in view. But if we do siege Mithlund, we'll incur the wrath of all of Linden. <laughs> the Brelanders have arrived. They're attacking the camp! Northern Dunedain did not attack us. So the siege continues at Fenestruenin. Turns cycle through. Still got speedy turns, which is good. Where are they going? The elves have. Oh, they've returned up there. I respect you, my enemy. All right. No sleeping here. Get ready for fighting. No sleeping here. Pick your feet up. I must hold on to Thorin's halls. We have completed an objective. Because it's, it's monetarily, it's just so vital for us. They appear to be abandoning their town up here and moving their armies through. Let's send some extra units up to support. Can you train some snagger, Govardhan, train some snagger. Can you train? Yes, you can. So send your others to Govardhan. Right, the army up here is coming along. Really could do with a general, though. Come on, get ready for fighting. Um, I'll leave behind the two wargs. No, that no leave behind the hill. Pick your feet up. Right, we're losing money, but it's better not. Um, don't. Yeah, do train them. They'll just sit there and be free, won't they? We got our diplomat. We got our diplomat. Perfect. Finally, Jesus. And how goes it at Fenestrunen? Very, very well. Five turns, the enemy's still just huddled on the other side of the river, and the mountain orcs are there want? to support. If he does rise up, that's so good. That's perfect timing. We never get our allies. We never get any kind of bonus like this. Get ready for fighting. Thorin's Halls is going to be attacked. There is no way around it, and we Let won't hold it. Matters on the field of battle. He's got enough troops to make that a challenge. So we go to another end turn. Oh, I forgot to move you, though. Oh, Captain Cliff's attacking us. Good lord, Cliff. What well, you brought a lot, haven't you? Some merchants, very high armor, but pitiful everything else. Breland militia, overall rubbish. You've got some wooden hunters there. Wooden hunters are really good archers. Their missile attack is five. That's very, very good. And look, those ones are bloody six experience. Although this is pretty much every unit that Bree gets in one army. This battle may well be the end of the episode, actually. Or when the turn cycles through. But Fornost is quite a big city. It's quite easy to defend. And I think that's going to work in our advantage. We won't bother defending the walls. They will defend the second walls. So. So, that was very slurry, wasn't it? So, 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 so. You want to put a unit on the walls, just so that the eight towers fire. Uh, what do we do with the wargs, though? Because they're useless in cities. Like, they're less than useless. But they're both there. I might rush them out. And we'll pick off some stragglers. Oh, he's got some fort units. Now they are going to bolster him. He's got some merchant cav. Overall, though, it is a pretty useless army. Is there a secondary gate? I don't really want them running out the front. Oh yeah, but it's Mars way. That doesn't matter. Just don't want them running straight out into that. I don't want the merchant cav having any opportunity to chase us down. Oh, you vex me so much, these cities! Now we can't even go back to the original position we were in. That's the best we've got. It's going to have to do. All right, who's still up on the walls? Our general. Come down. Oh, there's someone else on the walls. Oh, the other unit of those. Yeah. This is the best that we can hope for this early on, so... Okay. We 
want to ensure that the arrow towers still fire at the enemy when they break through the gate, which they will do. Oh, they're using their banners, say. Get the wags out. They are using the banister. Fools. Go for it. Go wild. You waste as much time as you want. I'll just sit here while you waste time. No problem for me, friends. You just see the spire of the ancient capital in the shrouded mist. Shooting at? Are they shooting at the tower? No, they're shooting at the wall. Right, there we go. They've run out of bolts, so the siege equipment will be moving up. I assume. No, no, they're sending in. Ah, did they destroy the gate? No, the gate's just locked open. Right, brilliant, brilliant. Well, that was ridiculous. For some reason, the gate didn't shut. <sighs> and they appear to be making a beeline for us. Why are wargs? Wargs are just not as reliable as cavalry. That's the problem. They're sending in their cavalry to deal with us, though. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. And we have slaughtered it. They're sending in everything to do with us. Why don't you just move up your s bloody ram? Well, we're going to win this because the AI is going to just be stupid about it. The whole army is coming for our wags. that's what they want to do, then fine. We've already lost more than I care to. I just don't like wags. I'm not very good with them because of how crap they are against arrow fire. At least normal cavalry can hold up against arrow fire, but wags just don't have a chance. And for whatever reason, the enemy is not bringing up their siege equipment. He appeared to be wigging out with it somewhat. So we're going to win through some weird technicality here. So the best that we can do is keep it at time six. Apologise for the five minute... D <laughs> well, essentially boredom as it's going to be. No, until the siege equipment comes up, they just they don't have any hope. Also, our wags don't appear to be running at the speed at which I would like them to run. They're still being chased by the enemy archers, though. Archers? Enemy archers. Oh, they were going slower than they should have done. They are bringing their Palestine up. We should have gone back inside the walls there, shouldn't we? Oh well, we've run all the way around the city. And it's achieved nothing. Let's see if we can't get a hit on those though. We will try kill as many of these as we can. I 
30. You lost 30 in your initial... Oh, you're so useless. You're literally just the worst unit that God ever created. You are of no use to me. Where's the unit that's apparently sitting around here? Real ammunition. Yeah, you should at least be able to kill them if you charge them in the back. No. I'm just gonna you just die. Just die. Just sod off. I'm done with you. If Freeland Militia are gonna kill you, then you deserve to die. So now we face the dull realization that the AI is just wigged out totally. They've not brought their siege equipment and no, just nothing is going to happen now. Oh, finally they picked up the ram. I had hoped that by attacking them it might jog the ram into memory, into realising what it actually does. Don't run away, just die like the rest of them. Towers are doing well. We're under attack. Mm, yeah, those pikemen need to die. <laughs> Good shooting, men. Woodland Hunter went down. We're under attack. Well, they're at the gate, but apparently that doesn't mean diddly. Now they're just refusing to attack it. Oh, they are bringing ladders. Oh, men, you're actually going to be involved. The Ballister crew are coming with a ladder. Why can't you knock ladders down? That would be so easy to knock that ladder down. The enemy are battering down our gates. Oh, they're really coming for it. Oh dear. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. All we have to do at this point now is wait Blast the time out. Eyes. The enemy's ram is through our gates. Hobbitry in arms are going to climb the wall, no way. Oh, God's sake. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Twenty nine percent of them have died. Force them to do that high shot because they can't do anything with that high shot. Right, we don't have very long left. Our halberdiers should be able to hold the line. I would hope. These merchants are really giving them a run for their money, though, aren't they? Oh, and the pipemen are down off the wall. Come on, timer. Come on, timer. It's alright, we've got our general, we've got our general actually, haven't we? Our towers are still shooting them. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. This is our expeditionary force to Fornos dead though, and Bree will just be able to send more troops in. But the winner will heal, the loser will not. So, we will at least retain some of the men that are going to die here. And Bri will be sent packing back to this. 
upstart town. Oh, we got some routing. Take down those. Woodland Hunters might be good archers, but they're abysmal melee troops. Oh, perfect. The pikemen got trapped, surrounded, and got slaughtered. Look at them dying. Oh, that was an easy victory in the end. And I'm pleased the wargs died, because they were useless to us. Oh, there we are currently. Perfect shot for those farmhands. Oh, dear. Only her day is at an end, and victory is clearly... Oh, out. wow, we killed loads of them. Cliff didn't know what hit him. 180 kills, Orc Marauders. Well done. And then he had 82 Orcs to begin with. Very well done indeed, friends. A worthy victory! That, if you aren't aware, is the Mirror of Galadriel. No. Kill them all. We destroyed the enemy! Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Can two units of Snagger take down an archer unit to end the episode? Let's find out. This is a big test. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. We could close the distance fast enough. They can only target one unit at a time, and our sheer size should avail us. Oh, hold on. Yeah, they're hidden. Tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. What on earth are you doing? God, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Well, our captain's dead, but we finally surrounded them. It's all over. From such time, we've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog. Objective. Yes! We lost a hundred! Sheer numbers. Sheer numbers went out. And that's one unit that's going to be one unit less when we arise, arrive at Fuerost. We destroyed the enemy! Yes, 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 yes. A string of victories. Defend the camp. Iron Might. This is the name. Oh, where's my little um, device, actually? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, I think I do know. Captain Ugmaz, did you survive to become adopted? Yes, you did. Oh, it couldn't have gone better. It could not have gone better. Come on! Ambush! Oh! Attack! We just got a free general out of it. Here. It's a trap! Pick your feet up! We have come Two to units of Fort Spearman. Uh, it looks as though they're diverting attention elsewhere, so. Come on! Object oh. Get ready for fighting! Objective complete! I don't think we need that army in Gobadrion. So, as you've Come just made on. it there. Get ready for fighting. You two. Orcs. Also head over to Fyros. Oh. Form up an army there. Come east. As expected, they attack Orcs. Thorin's halls. Come on. I respect you. No biggie. My enemy. Listen up. Be gone. Kill them all. And we can move Mithlon no down here. here. The Misty Mountains. Ah, oh, the Misty Mountains have buggered off. Damn. And so is that army that was over there. Well, we'll wait and see what happens next time no in that one. Here. Oh, let's try and get back information there. Always a pleasure to deal with your people. I do not think you what? Goodbye. 
Why? What's wrong with that? Oh well, well that will end the episode. So this is the first, as I say, of each of the videos this week will be an hour long, but there'll be no stainless steel video this week, uh, likely nor next week. The first one will probably be the f end of the first week of January. So that's what, a couple of weeks away from now? Well, three, I suppose. Um, so apologies for that, but the overview videos will come out. There's Dole Amroth coming out next week. In fact, Dole Amroth I will release on Christmas Day. So that overview video will be done. And then that the week after that, obviously, I hope to do... It was when we hope to release the patch. I'll do the installation of guide for the patch because it will be slightly different this time. And as I said, I hope to do a milk or video for you all as well. But for now, that will conclude this one. So thank you very much for watching if indeed you have. Things are sort of turning around, I like to think. But in this campaign, it can change. One of these might be bribed I in the next turn. You never know, do you? So. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And until we speak again, dear friends, Navar and Aden Pedimad Melunin, and farewell.